Hello there, hello there everyone, welcome back. Um, again, this is a bridging GCSE uh, video. Uh, my earlier video explained about the um, simultaneous elimination method. So today, at present, we're going to do the um, substitution method. Okay, substitution, substitution method. Okay. So let's have a look at the equation 5x minus 4y equals to 12 and then x minus 3y equals to 5. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to apply a substitution method, so we won't be doing the elimination. So this is the second method. Again, it's equation 1, equation 2. Okay, now what we need to do, we need to make one, one of, you can pick out any equation, okay, so I'm going to choose the second equation, which is x minus 3y equals to 5, and I'm going to make one of the variable a subject, so I have to shift it to one side and put the rest to the other, so I can find the value. So let's find the value of y, for, sorry, the value of x first. So what I'll do, x equals to 5 plus 3y. Okay, so now I've made this x the subject, okay? And what I need to do with this x, because x equates to 5 plus 3y, so this equation, this part, I'm going to substitute an x here in the first equation, okay? So, let's do this now. Again, we're talking about simultaneous linear equations, so we're dealing with straight lines here. Okay, so it's 5, 5 plus 3y okay. minus 4y. That's how you do the substitution method. So I put down a sub substitution. Okay, so that's the substitution method. Okay, all right, and that equates 12. Okay, now we're going to find y, what value y carries. So we know that 5 is 25 plus 15y minus 4y equals to 12. And then we can say 15y equals to, sorry, 15y minus 4y. Let's say that becomes 11y. Okay. And then 12 minus 25, that will give you minus 13, okay? So therefore, y equals to minus 13 over 11. So we found the values, value for y. So y is one coordinate, we found one point of the coordinate, which is 13 over 11, minus 13 over 11. Put minus 13 over 11 here, y equals to. Now let's, because we know the value of y now, so that gives us the opportunity to find the value of x. Okay, again, pick an equation. So we'll substitute the value of y, say in equation two. Okay. So we bring down the equation to here, minus three, and y we have minus 13 over 11, okay? That equals to 5. Okay, now we can see here that becomes x plus 39 over 11 equals to 5. Okay, and what we're going to do here, because we are out of space here, we could equals to 5 minus 30, 39 over 11, okay, and that gives us 55 minus 39 over 11, and that gives us, let's take away 55, 39, let's see what it gives us, maybe 4, 15, 9, 10, 12, 13, 
Yes, so the answer for this is 16 over 11 for the value of x. Okay, so we have two points now, x and y. So we can see that we have two values, one for x and one for y. So x equals to, by using the substitution method, equals to 16 over 11, and y equals to minus 13 over 11. Okay, you can, if you want to convert it to decimal format, by all means you can. I'll just put down a decimal format for this one. So x in decimal format equals to 1.45, and y in decimal equals to 1.18. And you can plot the graph. Uh, again, as I explained in my earlier video, earlier tutorial, sorry, that uh, punching the numbers for the x, putting well, put the input values for the x, 1, 2, 3, 4, and find the values of y respectively, and, and you should be able to get the, but you should be able to get a straight line for both of the equations, okay? So I hope this lesson has been useful, okay? So I'll leave the graph to you, to all of you to sort out, okay? So I'll plot a graph, Okay, because it's good to be in practice. And this is the simultaneous substitution method, which I've just and the judges have taught. And uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.